This is just one of them big fish catching days. I can just tell y'all, I feel it in my bone. I really do. I do know one thing. Better make sure your drag is set. Good, right here. There he is, oh there he is. Oh this is, oh now, now we talking. This here's a, this this could be a double ditch fish right here. I'm trying to look at it, oh, it could be. This here is a giant. Come on big mama. Oh Lord, what a fish. This is the kind I've been looking for. Come here. Here we go. God, look at what I'm on. There. There you go. <laughs> Lord in mercy. Oh, y'all, look at that. What a fish. His eyeball's big as a quarter. <laughs> and then, this one here is a flat footed giant. Okay. I don't know what she's going to weigh. I think she'll go at least eight. Anyway, so let's cut these on. I don't know, Big Mom. Lord, of mercy, what a fish. Let's just let them zero. See, there's zero. Let's see what she weighs. Uh, uh, yep, eight. Eight pounds. <laughs> Y'all see that right there? She weighs eight. Let's just say eight five. Eight five. That's a big fish showing up. I thought it might be a double digit or buddy thing, but that's okay. Okay. I'm telling you, big one right here. Look at that. I'm just gonna ease her in here. Look what a mouth on her. Now there's some in here bigger than this one, but that's a big one right there. A little over eight. Takes a big fish to weigh eight pounds. Okay, you ready, mama? You ready, Mama? See, I <laughs> yeah, she's ready. I'm gonna kind of explain to y'all kind of what happened right here. Uh, I was right down there, and uh, I made a long cast up to right here. And with that long cast, as soon as it went down, I had this big fish to grab it. And it started swimming out in deep water, and when I said the hook, the hook was, I never got the hook in the fish. I could just feel the weight on there, and it, she just opened her mouth and it popped out. So I thought, well, ain't gonna catch her again. So anyway, uh, so I slipped around here and I eased down here and I just flipped it right out there where I got that bite a while ago. And I guess she never felt that hook because, it, I mean, she hit it just right here, Lord have mercy. Woo, it tore me up, tore me up. It's gonna be a big fish catching video, tell me. So we're gonna have to ease on around through here and see if we can catch one. I'm looking for a double digit for y'all today. I'm sure I'm talking about a flat footed beckon. That's what I'm looking for. So. We're gonna fish around the bank here and I'll show y'all today uh, kind of what I, how I fish around the bank. I've been doing it pretty much ever since I was a kid. I ain't always had a boat, so, not, you know, back when I was a kid, that's all I done. I sure am glad y'all joined me today, folks. I'm Rocky Drake, yeah, Rocky Drake Outdoors, and let's go catch another big one. Mm -hmm. Say, so, now I caught that fish there <clears throat> on this June, June bug colored lizard. But like I say, after you catch a big fish, always, always check your line to make sure, because that fish right there, if, if that line right there had any little nicks in it, that broke off. Lord, and if it broke off, I would have swore it weighed 12 pounds. What I was telling about this line, 17 pound test line, and this reel I'm using today is a loose bait casting reel. And this ducket rod right here, now I got it at GTO. Over there, it's a Silverado bait caster. And pretty, I think it's a medium heavy. You know, when you're fishing like this around cover, you need something a little bit more backbone because you really, because you may have to jerk one out of, that, out of there, you know. Now that fish was just right there, so that tells me they're up here shallow. So it, you don't ever know, man. Just work it all the way back to your feet. To your feet, see right there, to your feet. Mm -hmm. That's right. Good Lord, that was a good fish. See that limb hanging right there? See, if I got a bite right there and I went to set the hook, you see what would happen. You see that? probably break into your pole. You couldn't set the hook real good. Well, I'm fixing to show you something right here in a minute that you might want to think about next time you go fishing around a pond as soon as I get this one in right here. Okay, all right, let me show y'all something. What I normally do, especially before it gets really grown up, is I'll, I'll bring a pair of uh, snippers with me right here. See these little snippers? Oh, look at that. Oh, oh. 
I got them down there low. So what I'll do is I'll just pull them over here like this right here, because I'm gonna fish here again. You know what I mean in the future. And what I'll do is I'll just uh, I'll just go ahead and just snip, just like that right there. Get it out of the way. See there. So now you got more room to set the hook right here. We're going to snip this while I'm at it. You have to do this about every year because you know things just grow up. This is summer, so see right there. See now I can throw in there. If I set the hook, I'm good. I get a bite. See, that could be a that could be an old bass land just right there. Right next to the bank. You gotta be careful though. When you set the hook, you'll you'll break your pole. Let's just try it right here. See, I'm just standing away from the bank casting. Just in case there's a great big one laying right there. Don't want to spook him. Or her. There he is. Now we're talking. Now we're talking big. Look at that one. Oh, Wally. Good Lord. Oh, Lord. Look here. Yeah, we got to get the man. He tapped on it. I think I got him all good. I mean, he was right up there next to the bank. Yeah. Get him up here. And keep his head up out of the water there. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's a good one there. Oh, Lordy mercy. Yep. That's what I've been. That's what I'm looking for today. This side right here, bigger. Winds are blowing towards that corner over there. And a lot of times they blow bait fish. So I'm kind of anxious to get to that corner over there. There's probably going to be a great big fish hanging out. I'm going to throw down this way. I always like to throw up ahead of me. And uh, before I walk down there, because you don't know what's laying. Just right there. Could be a great big. Here he is. Where he is. The big one right here. I guarantee. Oh, he come off. Oh my gosh. It was just a long throw and he came off. Oh, that was a big fish. Please come back and get it. Oh, man. Nothing had some weight on him. I always like to fish when the skies look like that right there. See that? That means there's a front blowing in here. That's called mare's tails. That's, that's you know, a nickname for them. I'm sure they got a fancy name. Like I say, down here in the south, we got slang for about everything, including crappy, crappie. We ain't crappie fishing today, we bass fish. When I walk up to a little area that I want to fish off the bank, I'll just throw straight out and then just fan cast around. Because these fish could be anywhere from out in there. They're just roaming around out in here right now. So we're in a pre-spawn situation. So you don't really know where they're at. And uh, I like it when they're right up here close to the bank. Because it kind of gives you... Oh, Lord, I thought that was a bite. I'm getting a little bit um, <laughs> jumpy here because I know what's about to happen. There's going to be a great big fish here in the next little bit. It's absolutely going to demolish this lizard right here and I'm going to show them to you. We're talking about double digit now. I'm just slowly, slowly dragging it across the bottom, twitching every now and then. Like if you're fishing a lake you never fished before, you might want to look at the bottom, what the bottom's made of. See that right there? This right here. Oh, that bite. See, that's all gravel around through here. So that tells me that there's gravel probably all out in here. So it's a hard bottom. And I know these fish, these bass, they like to get on this kind of hard bottom right here. I don't waste my time much on where it's just mud bottom. Now bass, they're, they're not really, they like that hard gravelly bottom clay bottom and that's what this is right here just twisting every now and then let it sit there so 
There he is, another big one. Oh, yeah, another good one, another good one. Oh, Lord. Oh, man, he hit that thing. Good Lord, he hit it. Oh, ah. That's a good chunky little fish right there. Show you. Good chunky little fish. Look at there, we'll turn him loose. Boy, he tapped on that ledger like you would not believe. I'm real anxious to get to that corner over there where that wind's blowing in on it. Real anxious. I know there's some big fish hanging out over there and we may just get lucky enough to get a hold of one. Might. There's one right there. A little one. That not caught a while ago to eat this one for supper. Sure would. Wow, why don't y'all look here. <laughs> I'm sitting there looking at this, wondering what this was. There ain't no telling how old this thing is right here. Look here. Look at that. Hooks are done rusted off of it. Well, I'll be. I'd like to know how old that was. Sure would. I'm gonna keep that right there. Sure am. I'm gonna keep it for a souvenir. Look at that. Oh, baby. Doop, 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 doop. Finally made it up here this corner right here the wind's blowing in on. I just about guarantee you they sunk, there's a great big bass laying out in here somewhere. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do what I've been telling y'all about. I'm gonna make a cast from here. I'm not gonna walk right down there right now. I'm just gonna walk right up in here. I see there's a windy bank's always the best bank in the pond. And uh Especially if it's been doing it two or three days in a row. So what it does, it just it pushes bait fish. And uh, things that uh, big bass like to eat. So usually a windy bank, especially a corner like this, it kind of corners them up in here. So if we can just catch one good fish out of here, I'll be happy. Come on, fish. There he is. Oh my gosh, another giant. I knew there's gonna be one by that log. This here's, oh, this may be bigger than that other big one I caught. Oh, good Lord, look at him jump. Oh my gosh, giant, 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 giant. Look, look on a fish. <clears throat> Hope I got him hooked good. Lord in mercy, what a fish. This is bigger than that other one, y'all. Look what a fish. Look at what a fish. Oh my gosh. Look at what a fish. Come down here, big mama. Oh, look at golly. That is one big giant fish. I can just stick my whole hand down in there to get that. Just barely had him hooked. Look at what. Oh my gosh, look what a fish. Oh my gosh. Oh, Lord have mercy. I'm just gonna clip her on here. Just leave her in the water there until I get ready to wear. Make sure they're zeroed. Okay, come on. Stinking scales ain't right, man. I think something's wrong with them. Well. I'm gonna take these things back. They done messed on me, this makes the third or fourth time. Well, I don't think we're gonna be able to weigh this one. As you can see, it ain't doing nothing. It's almost like there's water going on there or something. I'm just gonna take an educated guess on this fish right here, this big fish. I'm gonna say she pushed 10. I'm gonna say she pushed 10 anyway. She's a lot bigger than that eight I caught up here that we weighed, and I don't know what's up with them scales. But uh, this windy bank right here, I, I was really wanting to get down here and uh, fish it because I figured there might be a big one land down here, and sure enough, as you can see right here, she is. Now we're gonna turn her loose. Don't y'all look at that? Okay, mama, thank you. Really good to meet you. Let's give her a minute. Let's give her a minute. There she went, right out through the yarn. Woo, the Lord of mercy. <laughs> I'll tell you what, that's fun right there. I'll tell you what, if I don't catch her nothing today, and I had a good one, that's two great big giant fish. 
showing up. So, hey, we still got a lot of daylight left. Let's just see if we can catch another. Okay, here's the hooks I'm using. And uh, there's just a straight shank hook, worm hook, and it's a number two. And uh, it's a Kamagachi. Not sure I didn't pronounce that right. It's down here in the south. We don't always pronounce stuff like it should be. Anyway, that's the hooks right there. So, good hooks. I think I'm going to sit down in this chair. Can you see this chair? I'm going to sit down and catch me a big fish. That's what I'm going to do. I'm tired. There he is, too. Good and this. Big and big and. Oh my gosh. I just sat down in this chair. Oh, it's another good one. I'm going to have to stand up now. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, another. Look at that. Yes, sir, buddy. Can you believe that? I just I didn't get sat down in that chair. Good. Come here, fish. Oh, another good one right there. Yeah. Yep. Let's turn her loose. There, she went right back down in there. Folks, I'm going to tell y'all something right now. I'll tell you what. I was getting a little tired. If I ease over here, seeing this chair sitting there. I thought I'd sit down and take me a little rest. Well, as soon as it hit the water out there, one grabbed it, boy, and I got him. <laughs> it's so much fun. <laughs> oh, I'm glad y'all with me today. This is it's kind of an epic day, really. It sure is. Tell you what I'm gonna do right here. I know that there's a uh, somewhere down in here. I know down in here somewhere. Uh huh. I just know there's a. Oh, there's more lizards. Yeah, maybe. I just know down in here. Yeah. There's a the Snickers. See right there. I just know what it was. I done about got hungry. That big fish right there made me hungry. Anyway, folks, I'm fixing to take you to the house. Appreciate y'all watching, and uh, we'll see you next time.